So what's the book list? Currently, we have some misunderstandings. The book list is to clear up those misunderstandings. Native Americans. Black people are not Native Americans, okay? It's not a correct terminology to use. Native Americans, the group of people that that status has been applied to, that classification has been applied to, are actually not from North America. They're actually from Russia, Siberia, Mongolia. They're nomadic peoples that the U.S. government, U.S. curriculum makers took it upon themselves to give them this status of the First Nations or the original people. But when we go into the correct books, when we go into the correct books, we find out that there's this group, this empire that lasted from 9000 B.C. and stopped around the 17th century. This group of people are called the Mississippians. And they're, they have nothing to do with the Native Americans. Okay, so the hundreds of thousands of mounds, the effigy mounds, the platform mounds, the, the mounds that align up with the, the, the celestial bodies. These structures were not built by the Native Americans. They were built by the Mississippians. The correct terminology to use for us because we know American is like saying European and an Italian is like being even more detailed. So Mississippian, we can say we are Americans all day, but that doesn't that doesn't distinguish whether you're from North, Central or South America. But the Mississippi River is only in North America. And it's a great river. So Mississippians are the people that look like this. In 1562, Saturiona, this, this emperor right here, reigned and ruled along with many, many other chiefs or caciques or kings or emperors. This guy had 30 caciques under him. We don't know about him. He lived in 1562, right around the time when they say whites brought in some Africans. Whites were doing what they wanted to do when you had powerful kings over here calling shots. How do we get closer to this information? What books do we need to pick up to learn about these guys? This is another king from Florida, just like this guy, from Florida, okay? The Forgotten Centuries. Charles Hudson picked this up because it explains how historians conveniently left out history, records, omitted them in these time periods. Because we don't know how this transformed into what we think it did. Okay, how did it go from bust down gold, everything, pearls, emeralds, all the precious metals, everything to where we're at now or where we were in the 1800s? This book, The Forgotten Centuries, is going to fill you in on what the historians conveniently left out. Okay, pick this up because it's going to talk exactly about Saturiona. It's going to talk about a lot of Latina. It's going to talk about the Powhatan Nation. It's going to talk about the Creeks, okay? The Choctaws, the Cherokees. Who are these people? Because the Choctaws, the Creeks, the Cherokees, these are Mississippians. These are not Native Americans. Check this out. Currently, we believe that slavery was something that we endured, that the white people put us through. But how can that be? How can 
these white nations have transported millions of Africans when you had powerful, the most powerful emperors on this side of the world ruling and governing things? How could that have happened? They don't tell us that there was slavery in Indian country. We were already going to war with each other. We were left alone to ourselves, okay? Creating great structures aligned with the stars. You know, we had pyramid complexes. These people right here, you see the garb? The same garb, you see, chest plate. They're talking about these people. Slavery in Indian country. They would take prisoners. They would go to war with each other. And they would take prisoners. And they would sell the prisoners if need be. There was already a system of slavery in the Americas, in Mississippi, okay? The Mississippi. Pick this book up, Slavery in Indian Country. Christina Snyder, all right? Check this one out. You talk about the economy, finances and riches and power. You know, there's no way that these Spanish or the French or the Portuguese or the Irish or the British were at all resourceful enough to come over here and call shots. When you had the kings that ruled the Mississippi were in charge of silver mines, gold mines, copper mines. Okay, they had mica. Okay, they had pearls, pearl fisheries. How do we get closer to that? How, how do we find out about their economic status? Moundville's economy. We need to know about the artwork that is ours. We need to know about all the things that were being traded from chiefdom to chiefdom, from Florida to Louisiana, from Louisiana to Georgia, from Georgia to Tennessee from Tennessee to Ohio. We need to know who was trading, what kings were uh, making these calls, what materials was being moved around. These, these topics are being discussed in the most prestigious colleges. Moundville's economy, okay? Moundville is Tuscaloosa's, where Tuscaloosa is from. Do we know Tuscaloosa? He's a Mississippian. Okay, looks like this guy. Archaeology of the Central Mississippi Valley. You're going to want, you're going to want to pick this up. Because when you start looking at the Mississippi, when you start looking at the mound builders, it's going to take you away from all of the Africa talk. It's going to clear up any mis misunderstanding that you have. So try those out just for right now. We're gonna come back in and I'll discuss those books in a little bit in depth, but that's just the start of the list. But check those out just for starters. <laughs>